program, we will be discussing the four macroeconomic objectives. And these are sustainable economic growth, control of inflation, control of unemployment, and the balance of payments. Now, Paris is going to discuss sustainable economic growth. So, sustainable economic growth? Well, it's another government aim. What does it mean? Well, firstly, let me ask, what does sustainable even mean? Well, think of the government as the big boss. The boss must control everything, right? A little lack of control could lead to huge problems. Just like if a little too much economic growth could lead to such effects like inflation. <sighs> so, how do we get inflation? What is inflation? What's so bad about inflation? Well, all these questions are what we'll be answering later on in the show. So, you ever heard of income tax? That's the percentage of your income that the government takes. Say your income was 100 dirhams and the government takes 10% for income tax. That's 10 dirhams of your money given to the government. But why does the government take income tax? There has to be a good reason. Where does it even go? Well, say the government is building a new school. The income tax we pay funds the school the government is building. Along with just building a new school, there come so many different jobs. Think of it. Builders, architects, construction workers, plumbers, joiners, teachers, assistant teachers, cleaners. Can you imagine how many jobs that is? But what comes with more employed people? Well, more income, of course. If the income increases, what will people have more of? Disposable income. This is the amount of money left over after paying tax and bills. All the boring stuff. Think of it as our leisure money. We could use it to shop, eat at fancy restaurants, go on holidays. So not only has the disposable income of people increased, employment increased, but the productivity of a country is now going to increase. This is how efficient a firm can be in the period of time given. Say a firm works for two hours and produces 10 units. It would be more efficient than a firm working for two hours, but only producing five units. The first firm would therefore be more efficient. So, our GDP increases. Do you know what this is? This is the gross domestic product. It is the measuring of economic growth of a country. So if the higher the GDP is, the further developed the country is. Okay, so far productivity has increased and GDP has increased. What would happen next? Well, with all that extra money and disposable income, Obviously, people's lifestyles are going to change. The demands of the country would increase to better their lifestyles because of the increase in GDP. This is called the aggregate demand. Can you guess what happens when aggregate demand increases? Yes, that's right. Spending goes up. All those people wanting the imported items, the Italian furniture, the luxury cars, the bigger house, or the glorious holidays. So, as we are demanding more with our disposable income, the firms and companies need to produce more to meet the new demand. How can the fir firms produce enough to meet the new demand? Well, they could relocate to a bigger factory, extend, use more land to produce their goods, or hire more labor. Therefore, an, another increase in employment leads to the cycle again. All these different elements adding up over a period of time strains the economy. The demand of people and their better lifestyles all cause in one thing. Inflation. What is inflation? Over to you, Zara.